Hello everyone. So welcome to this new session. So in this session I am going to continue with the second module. The first module is already covered. That is the Coulomb's law. Uh, the second module of this subject, the BEC 401 subject code, electromagnetic theory. The module two is uh, related to Gauss law. Okay. Yeah. So now let's, without wasting the time, let's quickly start with the concept that is uh, Gauss law. So we know that this Gauss law that uh, we have studied this Gauss law in physics also before. Uh, this Gauss law is basically the uh, outward electric flux uh, going out of a closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed between the surface. Okay, so that's basically the definition for Gauss law, and also this surface, the closed surface is also called as Gaussian surface. Those are the things which we have learned. And uh, we have learned about the electric flux as well uh, related to this Gauss law. These are all the things which we have learned uh, during the, our classes of physics in uh, second PU as well as uh, first year. For some of them you had first year in physics, right? So this is related to electromagnetic theory, okay, the subject name. So we are going to derive this uh, relation between the uh, electric flux and charge, okay. So now let's uh, uh, get uh, ahead with the statement of Gauss law. Gauss law states that the net outward flux coming out of the surface is equal to the charge enclosed. Okay, so this is the statement of Gauss law which you need to remember. And also for this uh, elaboration, I have also given you a diagram here. So this is the closed surface, or you can also call it as a Gaussian surface, where in this I have uh, randomly placed a charge Q, and this is the uh, medium where the outward flux is coming out and we have named it as a D that is the flux density and this surface is uh, given as the vector of ds and this is the unit vector am okay and these are the directions where the uh, outward flux is generating uh, through this charge q okay in general you can write it as psi is equal to q okay this is the meaning of this statement which you have read right now okay we need to prove now that this psi is equal to q okay so that how to prove so first thing that the same thing consider a point charge q enclosed within a surface which i have already told you and now uh, with this relation uh, we, we are getting one quantity called as efd that efd means electric flux density okay which you have discussed in the first module itself okay so this electric flux density if you recall it it is given by it is generally given by d is equal to charge per unit area right but for in this case we can write it as d is equal to q by area is given as 4 pi r square into unit vector a r this is the relation you need to remember further we are going to use this for derivation purpose also okay yeah so after this the electric flux passing through the surface s the electric flux passing through the surfaces is within this medium d s right that is the surface integral so what we need to take we need to take a closed surface integral first okay d dot d s this also you are familiar with in the first module you have seen it that is given by double integral of one is from 0 to 2 pi and another is from 0 to pi q by 4 pi r square into unit vector a r that is the I have substituted the value of d okay here and also uh, the surface integral d s is given as in the su surface uh, integral that is given as a r r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so this, are, this is also another thing you need to remember using these two equations uh, using this equation the, I have substituted the value of d and the surface integral ds is equal to uh, vector ar unit vector ar r, r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so now we are going to further solve this equation that is take uh, integral uh, 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi you can take it in any order 0 to pi first or 0 to 2 pi first it's your choice okay so now we need to write q by 4 pi r square so this is xi equal to okay that is the electric flux is equal to q by 4 pi r square a vector r 
AR vector R square sin theta d theta d phi okay so here you can see that this r square and r square gets cancelled and also we know that uh, uh, a, uh, ar vector into ar vector that is the dot product of two same vectors which are having the same magnitude that also we know that we, it is equal to one so now uh, by further simplifying this what we will be getting take this q by 4 pi constant common outside this integral into this ar dot ar it becomes 1 right so which are all of the terms left right now sin theta d theta as well as d phi okay so now let's uh, separately integrate that that is uh, integrate that 0 to 2 pi is for d phi that is right integral of d phi into 0 to pi sin theta d theta okay so now what would this be q by 4 pi into the integral of d phi with respect to uh, phi is phi itself and the limits are from 0 to 2 pi into the integral of sin theta is minus cos theta and the limits are from 0 to pi here so now just substitute the limits q by 4 pi uh, two, this is upper limit minus lower limit right so 2 pi minus 0 into minus cos pi minus of minus that is plus cos 0 okay so now it would be q by 4 pi 2 pi minus 0 is 2 pi and cos pi is uh, uh, minus of cos pi that is minus of minus 1 cos pi value is minus 1 so it will be plus 1 plus cos 0 is again 1 okay so that would be psi is equal to q by 4 pi into 2 pi into 1 plus 1 is 2 right so this would be 2 pi into 2 that is again uh, psi is equal to q by 4 pi 2 pi into 2 is 4 pi so this 4 pi 4 pi gets cancelled and uh, by this uh, these two equations we have got the relation that is psi is equal to q this corresponds to the our Gauss law see by using the uh, electric flux density as well the, as well as the surface in the integral along with the uh, which is bounded through this electric flux density we have derived one formula we have written that which we have studied in the first module and we have uh, solved this equation in order to get the relation electric flux uh, outward flux coming out of the surface is equal to the surface uh, uh, of the equal uh, to the closed charge okay so this is your the relation which you have derived so you can write it as hence proof so that's all about gauss law you can refer it down okay so this was about gauss law this derivation is very important so please make a note of it so this is your next question which is a similar kind that is the question is if d is equal to phi r by 4 ar vector coulombs per meter square then we need to evaluate both sides of divergence theorem for volume enclosed by r is equal to 4 meter and theta is equal to pi by 4 radians okay so again we need to be considering the divergence theorem equation we know that uh, surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot d into dv right so now let's consider first the LHS and solve. Okay, last problem we have considered RHS, right? So now for a change, let's solve first the LHS, that is surface integral of d dot ds. Okay, that is equal to. So here they have given the range of theta, that is pi by four, right? So we can take the limits as zero to pi by four, and phi, we can take the limits as from uh, 0 to 2 pi okay generally for phi according to gauss law we have uh, uh, told you why that is the case why we are taking the phi limits from 0 to 2 pi okay so here the value of d they have given it substitute that phi r by 4 oh, sorry this is phi r square by 4 okay so make that correction phi r square by 4 ar vector dot ds okay uh, ds is equal to in case of uh, uh, this here they have given the value of theta and r right so this is in spherical coordinate system okay yeah 
so therefore ds for spherical coordinate system the value is r vector into r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so please remember this for a uh, different different coordinate system the value of ds and dv will uh, have a change okay that i would be making a separate video and telling you about what are the values so for this problem you note this ds value so in place of ds put this term that is ar vector r square sin theta d theta d phi so here we can see that ar vector dot ar vector any two dot product of the same vector would be equal to one its magnitude would be equal to one so this ar dot ar would be equal to one okay so i'll write it here ar dot ar is equal to one so now after simplification what we'll be getting 0 to pi by 4 0 to 2 pi so take this for uh, phi r square by 4 into r square sin theta d theta d phi okay so since uh, there is no r term d r term so take this uh, phi r, r square into r square is r to the power 4 so phi r to the power 4 by 4 you can take it outside that is phi r to the power 4 by 4 into 0 to pi by 4 0 to 2 pi sin theta d theta d phi okay so now you can solve it so that is phi r to the power 4 by 4 into integration of sin theta is minus cos theta with the limits of 0 to pi by 4 and uh, the integration of d phi is phi with the limits of 0 to 2 pi right so now that is phi r to the power 4 by 4 into uh, substitute the limits that is minus cos pi by 4 minus of minus cos that is plus cos 0 into 2 pi minus 0 is 2 pi upper limit minus lower limit so phi r to the power 4 by 4 into cos pi by 4 is 1 okay so that would be uh, sorry cos pi by 4 is minus 1 by root 2 plus cos 0 is 1 yeah cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 into 2 pi so this would be so if we solve for this minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 in the calculator after simplification what we will be getting is phi r to the power 4 into 0 0.293 okay after while while you solve this you can take the calculator you can uh, solve it if i take if i take the calculator now and try try to solve it could be taking time for me so that's why i have written directly the answer you can verify if you want later so now the value of r they have mentioned in the question right they have given the value of r as 4 meter so now finally you can substitute the value of r you can substitute at the first only because uh, if you substitute the value of r at the first it would be, be again complicated we know we need to take all the terms in the calculator and try solving it so bring this till the last step and substitute the value of r that is 5 into 4 to the power 4 by 4 into 0.293 into 2 into 3.14 that is 6.28 the value of pi is 3.14 right so again after solving this this one 4 and this would be 4 cube so after solving this our final answer we are be, we are getting is 589.1 coulomb okay so this is for lhs the answer is 589.1 coulomb that is surface integral of d dot ds we are getting the answer as 589.1 coulomb so for rhs also we, we need to be solving and uh, also for rhs the del dot d we need to be considering it as from the spherical coordinate system uh, apply the formula and solve it and we will be getting the answer as 589.1 if you get the answer we can say that the condition is satisfied so yeah let's solve it so yeah now let's solve for rhs the rhs term is volume integral of del dot d dv so first let's separately solve for del dot d in spherical coordinate system since in the question they are given the value for r and theta so whenever you have r and theta uh, together we can say that those two are in spherical coordinate system so yeah let's uh, solve this so del dot d is equal to 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square into the value of dr so since we have in the question they have given only a dr term and d 
theta and d phi they are not given so we can consider them as zero so these two terms would be one and these two would be zero only this term would be left here that is dr term that is 5 r square by 4 right so again uh, del dot d into 1 by r square of we can take this 5 by 4 common outside and this 2 by dou r it is 2 by dou r of r square into r square that is r to the power 4 so this would be del dot d is equal to 5 by 4 r square into uh, dou by dou r of r to the power 4 that is 4 r cube so this here uh, uh, r square r square would be gets cancelled would be remaining only with r so del dot d is equal to and also this 4 and 4 would be getting cancelled del dot d is equal to 5 r ok yeah so this is the value of del dot d 5 r so now in the place of, uh, of uh, del dot d here we need to be putting the value of 5 r and solving it that is so volume integral of del dot d dv ok so where the value of dv here is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi ok i told right we have the different set of values for ds and dv in place of in case of all three spherical coordinate system so this is the value of dv in case of spherical coordinate system while doing the integration that is r square sin theta dr d theta d phi in place of dv we need to be putting this term and solving ok that is we have volume integral so we have three integrals that is for r r range they have given in the question that is from 0 to 4 theta is from 0 to pi by 4 and phi is from 0 to 2 pi ok and del dot d our value is 5 r and in place of dv we are putting r square sin theta dr d theta d phi ok yeah so now take this phi common outside and uh, separately integrate for what 0 to 4 that is for r that is r into r square right r into r square is r cube dr and 0 to pi by 4 sin theta d theta 0 to 2 pi d phi ok 5 into r cube integration of r cube is r to the power 4 by 4 and the limits are from 0 to 4 and uh, integration of sin theta is minus cos theta limit 0 to pi by 4 integration of d phi is 5 from limit 0 to 2 pi so phi is equal to 4 to the power 4 by 4 minus 0 into minus cos pi by 4 minus into minus plus cos 0 and 2 pi minus 0 right 5 into 4 to the power 4 is 64 so we can cancel one this will be 4 cube 4 cube is uh, 64 ok into uh, cos 0 is 1 minus cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 into 2 pi ok 5 into 64 into 1 minus 1 by root 2 I have solved it uh, uh, and kept it and uh, if you solve it simplification we will be getting 0 0.293 previously also I have solved it same thing 0.293 we are getting it into 2 into 3.14 okay so again if we solve this again the same answer we are, we are getting that is 589.1 cool okay if you want you can check it in the calculator solve this and we, are, we, are getting, we would be getting the same answer okay 589.1 cool so therefore we can say that LHS is equal to RHS divergence theorem is proved so that's all for this session hope you like this session so please refer the video very carefully so this kind of problems are very very important and uh, multiple times repeated in the exam so that's all for this session thank you